they will give you the question. Reduce quadratic form to canonical form by orthogonal transformation 2x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square plus 2x1 x2 x1 x3 minus x2 x3. Now also discuss the nature of the roots. Also discuss nature of the roots. So in this 16 mark question the first one is for the first part they will ask you for 14 marks and the second one they will ask you for 2 marks. So altogether 16 marks. Now before I move on to this I just want to tell you the working rule of reduction part. So first step working rule. What is that working rule? Number 1 write the given expression or write the given quadratic form into the corresponding matrix. Write the given expression or the quadratic form into the corresponding matrix. Number 2 find the eigenvalues. Find the eigenvalues. Number 3 find the eigenvectors. Number 4, find the normalized matrix N. Find the normalized matrix N. I just want to tell you what is the normalized matrix N. Suppose if we take let N be the eigenvalues or eigenvectors of the column. When you write the eigenvectors in column wise, if suppose if you take x is equals to x1, x2, x3 then the normalized vectors will be x1 divided by square root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. So always you know that for modal matrix you will write the eigenvectors in column wise. Similarly for normalized modal matrix, this is nothing but normalized modal matrix, the only difference you will take it as x1 divided by square root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square and similarly x2 divided by square root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square and for the x3 also the same way you will write it. So this is what the normalized matrix. Whatever the eigenvector you are getting it in column wise you will write it in this form. This we denote it as N capital N. And number 5 find N transpose that is interchanging rows into columns and the last one find D is equals to N transpose AN. So this is the working rule of the reduction of quadratic form into canonical form. Now we will do the problems. Now first step you need to write the given expression in the quadratic form. How we are going to write down? Let I am going to take let A is equals to as I showed you earlier you will write x1 square x2 square x3 square in the diagonal form that is without uh, multiplying or without uh, dividing or anything just like that you will write the diagonal elements x1 square x2 square x3 square coefficients as it is. So first x1 square. And then what is the next one? 1 by 2 into coefficient of x1, x2. So you have got 1 by 2, x1, x2. Coefficient of this. So here already you have got 2. Therefore x1 into x2 which will give you 1. Since it is an orthogonal transformation, it is always a symmetric matrix. Because we know that 
x1 x2 is equals to x2 x1 and similarly x1 x3 is equals to x3 x1 so on so 1 and 1 here and what about the next one x1 x3 1 by 2 into minus 2 which will give you minus 1 so here it will be minus 1 minus 1 and what about here the diagonal elements 2 1 1 and the next one here minus 4 x2 x3 into 1 by 2 which will give you minus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 I repeat again the diagonal elements you have to write it as coefficient of x1 square coefficient of x2 square coefficient of x3 square only these elements x1 x2 is equals to x2 x1 therefore we will take it as 1 by 2 into coefficient of x1 x2 1 by 2 means 1 by 2 into 2 which will give you 1 1 and 1 and for the next term minus 1 and minus 1 and for the last term since it is x2 x3 minus 2 minus 2 so this is how you will form the corresponding matrix for this expression now we need to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors so how will you find the eigenvalues lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equals to 0 as I told you in the earlier cases s1 is sum of the diagonal elements what are the diagonal elements 2 plus 1 plus 1 which will give you 4 s2 is equals to sum of the minors of the diagonal elements this is the diagonal elements for each diagonal element we should write the minor first when you take the first diagonal element what will be the minor you will leave the corresponding column and row 1 minus 2 minus 2 1 and similarly plus you will take the next diagonal element what are the remaining elements 2 minus 1 minus 1 1 and for the third one when you take the last diagonal element 2 1 1 1 so which will give you the answer as minus 1 similarly s3 s3 is the determinant of a what is the determinant here 2 into 1 minus 4 minus 1 into minus 1 into 1 again minus 2 plus plus into minus 1 which will give you minus 2 plus 1 the final answer will be 4 from this we need to frame the characteristic equation what is that lambda q minus s1 what is s1 here 4 so minus 4 lambda square and then s2 s2 is minus 1 so minus lambda and here s3 is minus 4 so minus into minus plus 4 which is equals to 0 this is the characteristic equation Now using this characteristic equation we need to find the eigenvalues as we have seen in the earlier classes how will you find the eigenvalues by applying the synthetic division how will you find it 1 minus 4 and minus 1 4 when you take it as 1 as I told you earlier always you will take the roots as minus 1 minus 2 so on and 1 2 3 so on if you are going more than 3 then the characteristic equation is wrong always you have to choose the roots in such a way that you have to get the remainder as 0 here 1 1 into 1 1 minus 3 minus 3 into 1 this will give you minus 4 minus 4 into 1 minus 4 now you are getting the remainder as 0 therefore 
lambda is equals to 1 is one of the root. Using this reduced one, lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 equal to 0. When you factorize it, lambda minus 4 into lambda plus 1 which will give you therefore lambda is equals to 4 comma minus 1 therefore the eigen values are therefore the eigen values are minus 1 1 and 4 so we have got three eigen values now using these three eigen values we need to find the three eigen vectors First, case 1, when lambda is equals to minus 1. So, you can write it in any order. You can even take when lambda is equals to 1 first and then lambda is equals to 4. Finally, you can even find out for lambda is equals to minus 1. Any order you can take it. Finally, the answer also you will be getting it in the same order in whichever you have taken the eigenvalues. Now, take down this. 2 minus lambda, 1 minus 1 and then 1, 1 minus lambda, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, 1 minus lambda. x1, x2, x3. 0, 0, 0. Now I am going to substitute this minus 1 here. So you will get it as 3, 1, minus 1 and 1, 2, minus 2 and here minus 1, minus 2, 2. x1, x2, x3. 0, 0, 0. 3x1 rows into columns plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0 and x1 plus 2x2 minus 2x3 is equal to 0 and finally minus x1 minus 2x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 0. So we have got three equations by solving any two equations or by taking by the rule of cross multiplication, we can find out the eigenvectors x1, x2, x3. Now this is 1, 2, 3. Now I am going to put x1 is equals to 0 in the second equation. So what do you get? 2x2 is equals to 2x3. Now we can assume x2 is equals to 1. So what do we get from this? When you substitute x2 is equals to 1 here, then you will get it as x3 value as 1 by 2, which is nothing but the x3 value. So similarly, we can find out the eigenvectors for the other things also, other eigenvalues also, 1 and 4. So we need to find out 3 eigenvalues as well as 3 eigenvectors to form the normalized model matrix. So I have shown you how to find out the eigenvector for the single eigenvalue. Similarly, you can find out the eigenvectors for the other two eigenvalues also. Now, shall we find out the normalized model matrix? Now, let me write the matrix N. Using the three eigenvalues, this is what the eigenvectors we got. It. The eigenvectors are two, 
1 minus 2 1 minus 1 and 1 1 minus 1 and 0 minus 1 minus 1 which I showed you now. So these are the eigenvectors we have gotten. Now using this I am going to show you how to find the normalized modal matrix N. N is equals to what is the formula? x1 divided by square root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. If we take this as x1, x2, x3 then you will get it as minus 2 divided by square root of so this will give you 4 plus 1 plus 1. Similarly next one 1 divided by square root of 4 plus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but x1 square plus x2 square x3 square and similarly minus 1 divided by square root of 4 plus 1 plus 1 and next one same way 1 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1 same way for the last one 0 divided by 0 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 divided by square root of 0 plus 1 plus 1. See always you have to write the eigenvectors in column wise only. You should not interchange into rows. If you are changing it definitely you will get a wrong answer. You will not get the diagonal elements as eigenvalues. Usually students will make mistake. They will write it as 2 divided by square root of 4 plus 1 plus 1. And then here they will write it 1 divided by square root of 4 plus 1 plus 1. No, that is wrong. Always you have to, if you are writing the eigenvectors in column wise, then column wise only you should write it in the normalized model, modal matrix. Now, from this you can get it as minus 2 divided by square root of 6, 1 divided by square root of 6, minus 1 divided by square root of 6. And similarly, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3 and this will be 0 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2. So we have got the matrix N. What is the next step? We have found out the characteristic equation, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, normalized modal matrix. Now we need to find out the N transpose. What is N transpose? Interchanging rows into columns. So these rows I am going to write it in column wise. Minus 2 divided by root 6 and 1 divided by root 6 minus 1 divided by root 6. And finally 1 divided by root 3, 1 divided by root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3. And here 0 minus 1 divided by root 3, root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2. The final matrix is D is equals to N transpose AN. We know what is N transpose. Just now we found out and A will be the given matrix and N is the matrix that we have formed it here. So these three will give you the final answer that is 1 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 minus 1. So where only the diagonal elements will be present all the other elements are zeros and those diagonal elements should be the eigenvalues. So this is how you will find out the more normalized modal matrix that is reduction of quadratic form into canonical form. Now they will ask you also discuss the nature of the roots. So after getting this matrix you should not leave it as it is. Finally the canonical form formation of this is for one mark they will ask you. So how will you write down the canonical form is which is very very important. The final solution should be written it in this form. The canonical form is y1 square. You can write it in any form. 
x1 square or y1 square or anything but it should be a square term what is the definition of canonical form the number of square terms is the canonical form that is y1 square plus 4 y2 square minus y3 square which is equals to 0 now for this we need to write down the rank signature and index so this is what the nature of the roots first rank what is rank the number of positive and negative eigenvalues are rank so how many values we have got 1 4 minus 1 therefore the rank will be 3 here if suppose instead of minus 1 you are getting it 0 here then the rank will be 2 now next one signature what is signature difference between the positive square terms and the negative square terms how many positive square terms we have got 1 2 2 positive square terms and 1 negative square term so 2 minus 1 will give you 1 index number of only the positive square terms so we have got only 2 therefore this is the final answer